Yes, I'm recording right now. What you are witnessing is a matchup between a photo of treasure out of Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer. Now, I, Fulton Broodwell, also known as Buddy, run around with no shoes. Mostly because it's the life that I'm used to. And it's okay, I don't really give a damn what you think about me. But I am very intelligent and I have been working on this for a very long time. The reveal is going to be on October 31st, so y'all need to stay tuned. Okay, here we go. The Atakapaw Indians were the Native Americans that ruled, or were, were actually over the land that we stay in now, South Central Louisiana. They were, from what I can understand, they were best friends with Jean Lafitte. Either that, or he had some sort of power over them. Well, Jean Lafitte traveled the Mermitol, it says that, and he actually hit his ship right there in Lake Arthur. Nobody realizes, but yes, the Calcasieu River is not in Lake Charles. Why do I say this? Because the Atakapaw Indian chief named Crying Eagle, which also translates into Calcasieu, was a Native American whose village was off of by Unipake. Now, Nipake means tattooed face or pierced nose or something of the sort, man-eater possibly. I don't know French that well, but... I was told that they would do his slightest bidding, these Native Americans. So, with that being said, if you were a pirate, where would you hide your treasure? Would it be up a river in Lake Charles, which whose port was easily accessed by the Gulf of Louisiana? Or would it be in a small 15 mile by 2 mile wide radius pool of water that was only accessed by tidal pools? Hmm, let me think. I would park it in my ship in Lake Arthur, travel up by Unipake into its deepest point. There I would probably offload my cargo and hide it amongst the Indians that were feared by everyone except for him, for they treated him as if he was a god. Now I know that if you follow the map evolution of Louisiana after Louisiana Purchase and before the breakdown of Imperial Calcasieu into, into parishes, that you would realize that the only other name for this river or body of water known as Bayou Nipake that runs in between Elton, Louisiana and Basil is the Calcasieu. Yes, it is a fact. What I'm saying cannot be debated. I wish some of you would understand the concept of reality. Y'all will have a, a real, real reality check here on October 31st because not only does this picture in Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer does it match this piece of iron, but it matches geographical locations along with other photos and items, objects that I have found personally and have researched and studied from every which way and different angles that it is not a coincidence. And yes, I have found a piece of treasure, maybe even a map key that I have lost on the bayou. But you need to understand the work that I have done cannot be reproduced and I have every last bit of research and work documented that I am the founder and finder of these objects but you don't need to stay tuned in because it will blow your mind.